everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today I thought I would sit down and share my current medical assisting must-haves with you all. I have seven medical and school related products and then six personal products to show you guys and as always they will all be linked down below for you guys. And for those of you who are wondering I am a senior this year in college so without further ado let's get started. So we are going to start off with the medical related, move into school related, and then move into the personal items. First up is my stethoscope. I absolutely I love this stethoscope. I can't say enough great things about it. It is a Lippmann Classic 3 in the color Plum, and so far this is the only stethoscope that I can actually use and hear the blood pressure sounds with. And then of course I have my blood pressure cuff, and it is like a pinky raspberry color, and it is the ADC AD Cuff Reusable BP Cuff, and it's an adult size 11. Also, when I got this, the lady tried to tell me that these would match together, and that this was the Plum color that matched the Lippmann, and I got home and I'm like, no, it's definitely not, but it's okay. I still really like it. And then, of course, when you are doing like blood pressures and respirations and pulse, you definitely need a watch. This is mine. It is just from Walmart, and I think it was like $8, and I absolutely love it. It is just a pink leather band with a rose gold face and gold detailing, and it just looks like this. It has a big enough face so that I can see it. It is also very cute. And then, of course, we have some alcohol wipes. These are a necessity and can be used on every Thing. We use them on stethoscopes, thermometers, to wipe down surfaces, to wipe the skin. You name it, we use these. Moving into the school supplies, I just have three. The first are black and blue pens because we are not allowed to use red. And so I just have two of my favorites here. This one is blue and I also have it in black and red. And these are just the staples pens that I really like and have for a while now. And then I just have one of these, which is a gel pen and it's the Pilot G207. Love these. I use these more for when we are doing documentation exercises. And I use these for like notes and other work. I also always have post-it notes with me. I keep these in my pants pocket. I keep them in my backpack. I keep them pretty much everywhere because they're really nice to just jot things down. And then lastly for school supplies, I definitely think having highlighters are a must, especially yellow ones. And these three products get used all together non-stop throughout the day, especially when we're doing clinical lab. I will literally write something with the pen and then highlight it. And next I just have six personal items. The first one is a good shampoo and conditioner. And these are the ones I've been using. This is just the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Multi-Tone Revealing Color Protecting Shampoo and Conditioner. I just personally think having a good shampoo is important because you want your hair to be clean and smell good. And during clinical and stuff, you're exposed to a lot. And so I like a shampoo that's going to clean my hair. And since I do dye my hair, this one is great because it's also a color protectant and it is especially for brunettes because I did dye my hair back to my natural brown color. I love working with John Frieda. So when I got the chance to work with them again, of course, I said yes. I featured them a few months ago with their Radiant Red shampoo. I absolutely love their shampoos and conditioners. They all smell great. They all are great for color treated hair and they also leave your hair clean. You get that squeaky clean feeling on your hair when you use these, which I love. Next is a base product, specifically an acne one. This is from First Aid Beauty and this is just their Skin Rescue Acne Clearing Charcoal Cleanser with Probiotics. It is a maximum strength 2% salicylic acid acne treatment and the most important part is that it is safe for sensitive skin like mine. I cannot say enough good things about this product. I know I talk a lot about acne products here on my channel and that's because I do struggle with acne as you guys can see and I actually had the opportunity to work with them and they sent this to me and so I swear by this I'm on my second tube. I actually went out and bought this one myself. It is nice because it's fragrance free. It is safe on sensitive skin and it helps clear up acne. What's also really great is that it's a cleanser and not a mask which means you can use it morning and night. Another product that is a must have is a good hand cream. This is just from Bath and Body Works and it's the green tea hand cream with shea butter. These are literally $4 and they come in so handy because in the medical field, you're constantly washing your hands. And during clinical, we literally do labs where we are taught to wash our hands and like have to wash them a million times. So having a good hand cream is important, especially with winter on the way, because I know for a fact that my hands already are really dry. And so I'm really nervous about this winter because I know they're gonna be even more dry. I also think water bottles are must have, especially the ones that keep drinks cold or hot. So right here I just have a swell one and then this one is just from Simply Modern. I've featured both of these on my channel. This one is just 15 ounces and this one is 20. I like using this one a lot more because it keeps them hot and cold longer. And my last must have is definitely a good pair of sneakers and I recently got these from Dick's Sporting Goods and I got them for $32. It was a steal. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've already seen these on my Instagram story. If you aren't following me, I will have it linked down below for you guys. These are 
just the Nike Flex Contact sneakers and they're in a teal color. During lab, we obviously have to wear closed toed shoes and they prefer sneakers. And since you're on your feet, these are definitely ones I can stand. So those are just my current medical assisting must-haves. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. If you have a must-have as a student going into the medical field, let me know what it is in the comments. While you guys are down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Throughout the month of October, I will be uploading new videos every weekday and would love it if you would become part of the Alley Packer Squad. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!